guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the deep. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Damian Williams, 22 yards, and the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. Butker now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. The trucks throw him. Oh, man, right through him. And here now come the Falcons. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference as we... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 45. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. He looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Green, green, 39. Green, 39. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. Space to run past the 20. They can't tackle it. <laughs> and down to the seven yard line. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. They'll try and run. This is Williams. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. They'll give it to him up the middle. And a little bit of space there, takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Play down. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Green, green 90, green 90. Uh -huh. They'll run it with Williams. 
And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Damian Williams, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? 